heard that we have to give up our ego to attain higher planes. To attain nirvana, the one which is a hurdle is our ego. You know, when you give up your ego, then you move to the higher level of consciousness. So that symboli symbolizes in the flute. So the flute, what happens when uh, uh, there is several stories in the scriptures like the flute, uh, the Radha, who is Krishna's lover, asks Krishna, how come I am so, I, 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 I adorn you so much and I love you so much, but still for you, flute is always with you, always closer. It, it, I'm envious of the flute because flute is closer to you than me, in spite of me being your uh, lover. So he says then, um, you know, there's one thing which I really, uh, it's one step closer because it has one special quality than you because it has given up its ego. The flute says, do anything to me, take out anything you want from me, but you, whenever you blow through that, I will just listen to you, whatever you blow through it, divine music comes out of me. So we, it, it, it actually undergoes pain and torture. You can say uh, um, flute is a lifeless thing, the bamboo is a lifeless thing, but the way the poet has seen things is its life, and it makes, it, it gives up, it's even in spite of having holes in its body, it's giving, it is like a candle. It burns itself, but it gives light to others. Like that flute has holes on it, but it gives great music to others. So it's very selfless. If you see that side of it, it doesn't have an ego. And it plays as you play. Whatever you are playing, it's just, it plays through yours. So Krishna said, you know, everybody, you give up your ego and then you attain me, you become closer to me. all know Lord Krishna who is the South Indian bamboo god he is the one you can see he is Lord Krishna uh, he played the divine bamboo flute he is the first flute player the world knows so and uh, it is said that Krishna lived 5,000 years back you know? and uh, I was always curious I have asked a lot of philosophers and everybody and uh, they all have so many things to talk about flute and uh, the first thing is uh, the greatness of flute and why Krishna chose to play the flute. So it's, it's a very uh, thrilling question which I have asked myself and many others. And here is the answer. The first thing is the human body has nine holes. Okay. They say Navadwara, nine hole. The human body has a nine hole. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the two excretory ones. So the bamboo flute also has nine holes. So this is symbolically represents a human body. So you see nine holes are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the human, um, and then every other instrument, you have to bring something else. If you see another violin or anything else, there are so many other parts to it. But a flute, there is no any part actually things are taken out of it to make the sound greater so which is and then prana prana shakti is what is called the breath is called the prana shakti okay that is the life force in all of us and you breathe your prana shakti into the into it and make divine music so it is said that omkaram which is the primordial sound om that omkaram is in the flow so whenever you blow through that, that Omkaram is the one which is coming out of the flute and that's why Krishna played this uh, divine bamboo. He, he did not play the drum or he did not play the murdangam or the veena or anything. And uh, flute is 
a nature's instrument one of the oldest wind instrument found in in any culture if you see flute is the oldest wind instrument it's made very simple and um, you it'll, you'll be surprised i have flutes which i bought it for like 8 rupees 8 rupees is like 10 cents less than 10 cents and i still play on it they are that cheap the best flutes i have is not expensive at all and um, they last forever uh, i saw in the convention that uh, peter had a flute from 1700s 1800s so they just last and these flutes have been with me for 30 40 years and uh, they make divine music and every time i pick up a flute and play it feels it makes you happy so the main reason krishna played flute because krishna means happiness that's another um, uh, krishna is a uh, synonym for happiness he you have never seen any krishna picture or heard anything in uh, in the scriptures krishna being sad all his life he was always smiling and happy that's the picture we have and uh, flute also make made him happy so this was an instrument which he used to make himself happy and i believe that when we play for me i always whenever i pick up a flute and play it makes me happy mm-hmm. krishna played uh, you know the trees listen the cows listen the cows even stop chewing the grass and all that we have heard it in so i wanted to experiment this with flute so and i started playing in nature you know it is a different feeling uh playing outside in the nature you can you see the whole nature is very responsive when you play um so i tried this in playing grand canyon in banff national park like any great uh, location uh outside it's it's so beautiful to play outside so then um, also music has the power to um touch anybody's heart it has all been proved so uh, in krishna played for the cows we heard the story we have heard the story so i i usually try to play for animals and then birds and um, where i live uh, in front of my house there are a lot of bunnies so when i sit outside and play once i had this uh, experience of a bunny i played raga mond uh, the mond goes like this This is a beautiful raga it's a nature bright raga so i had this bunny not even very far it was so close and it was listening to me with both ears like this that was a very humbling experience i i could see how even animals love music uh, i have heard about it but i had not experienced this so when i this happened uh, i was i was really humbled but i had one more experience happened uh, which happened last week Uh, for my website kanadiklessons.com i want to uh, record like 1000 ragas so i was recording few ragas and uh, you can't believe it i was playing and there was a dragonfly which was sitting so close to me like like um, like few yards and then i played two ragas not even one two ragas and the whole time it was looking at me i could see its eyes and then it was listening and after i stopped uh, it flew